I would like to share the experience of MSF in the creation and feasibility testing of a vaccination calculator for a mass vaccination campaign. MSF Switzerland decided to make a multi-antigen preventive vaccination campaign in the Central African Republic in Mambere Kadai Prefecture. We wanted to vaccinate 50,000 children under five years old with five different vaccines, including oral polio, DTC, hepatitis B, hemophilus influenza B, pneumococcus, uh, missiles, and yellow fever vaccine. We wanted to do uh, three rounds with an interval of two months uh, between each round. So we started the first round in December 2015, and we are currently at the third round. The vaccination prescription is done by health workers with limited experience, and it's a high work load, and um, the vaccination prescription is a complex decision-making process. What you have to imagine is that we just employ people just to fill the data collection, the tally sheet, and you can also imagine that every team starts at 6 a.m. in the morning, with, uh, including the vaccination uh, supervisor of each team, and they finish at 6 p.m. And after, the supervisor, the national supervisor of each team, has to continue his job till 8 p.m. to calculate and to compile all the data of the day, which make a very painful and long day for him. So we decided to create an application, a vaccination application, to be used in this campaign. The main purpose of creating this vac vaccination tool was, in fact, to be um, a module inside the eCare application that Maya just presented now. But um, as for each uh, ambulatory consultation for pediatrics, we would like to avoid miss opportunity for vaccination. It makes sense to have a module of vaccination for each ambulatory consultation. So we took the opportunity of this vaccination campaign to use this application, but to adapt it to fit with the campaign. The goal was not to collect the name of the patient, so it's an anonymous application, and it's easy and fast to use for the team. We thought that if you record the name and the medical and the vaccination history of the child, uh, it doesn't mean that this child will go to an EPI center between two rounds and get a vaccine. So you anyway have to check again the vaccination card of the child, even if you record the identification. So in fact, so we, we took the opportunity during this campaign to use this vaccination application and it allows also to improve it for its future use in the e-care application. So in fact, this application has two components, uh, e-decision support. So this is an Android application, computed roles of vaccination uh, insights. And as you can see in the slides, uh, it's, it looks like a vaccination card. So you enter the age of the patient, you enter the vaccination already done, and it gives you indication about what to prescribe today. The second part of this application is a data collection tool. This application has also an on-device activity report working also offline. So it gives you, at the end of the day, even if you have no connection, it gives you the number of children who went to your vaccination site, and it gives you also uh, what you use in terms of each vaccine, or at least what you prescribe. Before the application, the fields were using uh, such table to prescribe a vaccine. It's quite good uh, table to, uh, to decide which vaccine to give, but still uh, the field were thinking it's a bit complicated to use and some mistakes were observed during the first round of the vaccination campaign. Also, 
This table is a simplified version of the complete recommendation. So as it is more simple, it means that also there is some um, misopportunity and overprescription um, if you just use this table. We decided to assess the application via a feasibility study with the objective to assess the implementation, acceptability, and efficacy of the vaccination application. The design is a mixed method feasibility study. We use it in two vaccination sites in Berberati city, so in CAR, with, uh, during the second round of the vaccination campaign. We use four volunteer prescribers, and we give them a one-day training and a one-hour on-job supervision, and then we observe them during the study. For the implementation, we perform a systematic collection of the technical and environmental challenge. We look at how it is about the battery, the bugs, the transfer of data on the server, and if nothing were stolen. For the acceptability, we use a think a lot method, a user experience questionnaire, and a in-depth interviews. For the efficacy, we, use, we, we had 610 exit interview, half with paper algorithm and half with a vaccination application. We reassess the prescription to identify uh, the missed opportunity and the un uh, unnecessary prescription. So we compare after the proportion of children when vaccinated with the paper and with the application. So about the result. We had 1,324 consultation from the 23rd to the 28th February, and we had no technical problem observed or reported, and we had no delay in consultation process. It means that at the same vaccination site, we had one prescriber with the tool, the application tool, and one with the paper algorithm. And, and at the end of the day, they performed the same number of, uh, of uh, prescription. And also, all the data um, of the application were sent to the server, so we had no problem about that. The result in terms of acceptability, the usability score were more than 70%. Note that we didn't assess the usability of the paper algorithm. And um, it was an easy to use uh, application for the people who, who test it. And it increased the confidence in prescription according to what they, um, they told us. And uh, also, um, we improved the interface after the observation of the use. We changed for the date of birth, and we also uh, add an option about invalidate um, uh, a data if it was uh, wrongly entered. So the result in terms of efficacy, so what we compare, we compare the application with a paper-based uh, algorithm, and we look at the appropriate vaccine prescription. It means uh, we try to see if the child received all and only the needed vaccine to be prescribed. And we use as a gold standard the, the paper-based uh, algorithm. So what you can see in terms of results is that the appropriate vaccine prescription was 96% with the apps versus 91%. The miss opportunity was 3% with the apps versus 6%. And we had 1% on unnecessary vaccine with the apps versus 2%. And we had 0% of vaccine uh, administered with contraindication versus 1%. Of course, we can, we can see that, in fact, we had few mistakes uh, with the paper, but we still reduce by two the errors by using the application. Also, as I described before, the paper-based cannot uh, include the complete recommendation. So we already generate some missed opportunity and over-prescription if we take as the recommendation only the paper, which is not the case if we use the application where all the recommendation could be introduced. 
So the conclusion, the, the vaccination application uh, allowed to improve the vaccination prescription um, in the field. And uh, after a brief training and, uh, uh, on people who are not very trained and used to use such application. We had no technical problem. The user experience was positive and we reduced the number of workers needed by the vaccination team. And we make uh, save a lot of time uh, to the team, especially during the day, but at the end of the day, which allows the supervisor to um, leave earlier. Also, um, we had, um, we, we, we are using currently this application in the third round in the vaccination campaign and all the prescriptors of all the vaccination team in this campaign now use the application tablets and uh, it's going well till now. And also this allow us to improve our um, application for the e-care uh, program. I would like to thank all the vaccination team in uh, Central, Republic, uh, uh, Central African Republic and all the, the people who collaborate for this project. Thank you for your attention.